Hey y'all, it's super early and I'm in bed. I didn't get any sleep last night. Let me tell you why. So I'm chilling in my room, relaxing. My husband's going to work and I'm like getting settled in, watching TikTok videos and whatnot. All of a sudden, I hear something just crash out in the other room, right? Like loud crashing, like something is falling in the kitchen or in the dining room, right? And, you know, I'm the adult up in here. So, you know, I got to be brave. Y'all know I'm a scaredy cat, but I got to be brave. I got to go investigate, you know? So I'm creeping to my room door and I'm like, please don't let it be nobody out here or nothing because y'all know i've been telling y'all these stories about like these hauntings and stuff like that and how my kids act and stuff so i go out there i don't see nothing i'm looking around opening like random doors and stuff looking in the kitchen looking everywhere like i don't see nothing like out of the ordinary itself like a random bottle of melatonin like laying in the middle of the dining room floor and i had given my five-year-old a dose of the melatonin before he goes went to bed because he has a hard time falling asleep but i didn't put it like on the edge of the table or anything i put it like towards the middle of the table with my other son's medicine because he has a medication that he has to take at night right so i'm looking at this bottle of melatonin just like laying in the floor like how does bottle get slam over here and why would it be so loud if it just like rolled off the table you know what i mean in order for it to have made as much noise as it made, somebody would have to have picked it up and like slung it across the room and it would have had to hit the wall and then fall on the floor. You know what I'm talking about? And all my kids are asleep, so nobody nobody came out. Like I thought my older son might come out when he heard it, but he didn't come out either, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm just tripping. So I go back to bed. I go back in the room, you know? So I'm in the room and I start hearing all kind of noises out there, right? And yeah, I'm in an apartment, but we've been in this apartment a long time and I can tell the difference between like the noise coming from the side neighbors and the upstairs neighbors or whatever, right? And it's not that, like, it sounds like it's in the dining room and the kitchen. It's like just a whole bunch of noise. Honestly, it sounded like somebody was out there cooking, but it was like super late at night and, you know, everybody's in bed. So, of course, then I'm in here, like, half the night trying to see if, like, I'm going to hear anything else. I finally start dozing off, and my two youngest kids come flying in the room. And if you remember from, like, my previous videos, these are the boys that a middle child was talking about. He talking to somebody in the room or whatever, and then, like, my youngest child always scared of something. Like, he always talking about something out there. He sees something or whatever, whatever. And the main issue is both of them came in the room. Like, I'm used to my youngest coming in there. And my middle child, he'll just stay in his bed and he'll sleep all night. But my youngest usually comes in. But last night, both of them came in here, right? So by then, I'm kind of like half asleep because I like finally fell asleep or whatever. And my middle child, he goes ahead to sleep. But the youngest one is like wilding, right? He's like, he's scared and stuff and he saw this and he saw that so i'm like dozing i'm like he'll be okay he's in the room with us he'll be okay this boy started yelling what is that what is that what is that what is that i open my eyeballs up i'm swinging around looking at him like what is it what is it he's like pointing at the bed that we're laying on like he's like just pointing at the bed like the top of the covers I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was half asleep and I donkey gone the mess out of this bed. I was in here punching the bed, swinging, flipping the sheets, everything. I ain't know what was going on. <laughs> so then I'm like, it's gone now. Like, I think I got it. <laughs> I'm like, I think I got it. So it's good. I'm like, come on, you get in the blanket with me. <laughs> this boy sliding under the blanket sideways. Like, he's scared to death if he, gonna, if he put his toe in the blanket. And someone gonna snatch him right up into the covers or something. Like he's sitting on top of the pillow. I'm like, Lord, please help me. In conclusion, I got about two and a half hours of sleep last night. So I'm going to bed early. <laughs> and like I said at the end of one of my other videos, if there's something in here, you need to leave me alone. This is not an invitation, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.